right, last time on Tears of Tiamat, we ran into a forest, met a pixie that tried to play pranks on us, but we weren't very fun, and he was incredibly annoying. So we bored him and got through a jungle, or a, well, a forest, fought some ghost rats that multiplied, uh, and then I breathed lightning on the pixie, who ran away. Uh, and all in all, that was uh, was a great success. And then we came into the cliffside or the store of rice, looking for a cave. We found a cave filled with porcupines that almost killed us all completely. We did survive though, uh, and and sat down to basically lick our wounds for a couple of days. And then we ventured out, found some food, in which we have built a stack of food, like a, a you know we have a we have a larder now basically, and next to the white one because he keeps it cool. And uh, and then we also noticed there was a lot of like dwarven and human mining operations north of us, which looked interesting because they might have treasure and awesome stuff, and we should probably kill them and take a look. Um, we also found that we were neighbors with kobolds, uh, that we charged into their lair and killed a lot of them, um, took down their leader, and basically established ourselves as king of the kobolds, and they now uh, follow us. Uh, and that's basically when we quitted. Our plan today, I think, is to go to the rest a bit, heal up, everyone is tip-top shape, go to the meeting with the tree, um, see what's gonna come up there, and then on our way back to our little cave, if nothing stops us, we're probably gonna uh, plan an attack on the, uh, on the camp with the humans. Because they might have riches and we want them. Uh, speaking of your ladder, you currently have half a day worth of food in there. It is not quite as large as you might think. And also the kobolds have definitely requested that you help them because they are, they seem rather bad at feeding themselves. I don't well, see why we should though. Should a we, few what? humans would go a long way. Uh, that is certainly true. There's like a lot of meat on those. Squirrels and whatnot, but a, a good meaty dwarf, I mean. Mm -hmm. And they're not they're not that big, but they're dense, you know? Many say that I'm not old enough to eat dwarf, but I don't want to wait till I'm eighteen. No, it's fine, it's fine. Can I can I say something real quick? I, I looked at the, the cleric's uh, spell list and there is a spell where you can get a beard made of um what Spice. is the no, 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 the, the metal that... Um, iron? Iron beard? Yeah. The, 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 yeah, but it's made of the iron that uh, Jake's dwarf ate. Oh, cold oh, iron. Cold iron, you could get a cold iron beard. You should have that, like, froth. Mm -hmm. <coughs> but, cold, but, cold iron froth. So we have to get food somehow. Yes. And people are generally good food. Yeah? People are good food, but we're not in a shape yeah. to take down the camp. Well, I mean, we could eat the today's food today, and then... Tomorrow we can attack the camp and just hope we kill people. Hmm. I think we can still go and, you know... We stay, are we on shape? You are currently uh, at day five. The beginning of day five. Okay. We have to go there day seven? Well, the thing is, it's going to take like a whole day's travel to get there. Mm -hmm. So if we attack tomorrow... No, we'd have to we'd have to leave at the dawn of no. day seven. We should we should arrive to the meeting completely fully healed because we don't know what's going to happen there. Yeah, I don't want to arrive half dead and with no. But we also, get my, get, we also get my attack on route. Yep. So attack today. No, we attack on the way back. Today we rest up and you get but your healing spells back. Come back. Then get, well, then that's that. Like we we I don't think we should I don't think we should risk Aww. it. Because we, we can always come back. Nothing is stopping us from coming back unless the. Sorceress is like, ha ha! Now you are mine. We teleported to Dragon Island. But then we're yeah, all NPCs we meet from then on not dragons. Yeah, well, it might be true. But then that's just regrets we have to live with. I'm afraid. But you live with the thought that you have left these poor kobolds to starve. Yes. No, it's the it's the money though. We're gonna get the money. Don't Change worry. Change gain. This money will never come back. You know. We'll get there, don't worry. I promise you that we will kill these people. But not today. <sighs> I guess we're eating berries and bark again then. Mm. I think I, I think I have a bit of rabbit in here somewhere. Well like half a day worth of rabbit. And we I mean and dragons, we eat a lot uh, of rabbit. I'm gonna this day while while Manakai do you have uh, can I get can we get some healing? 
Yeah. But, but they were buffs. Though. But well, we need healing. I'll heal you tonight. How about that? If you what should we do? Before we sleep, we heal. Okay. I'm gonna go out and hunt uh, some food then. I'll come join you. Maybe, maybe I'll actually have... maybe I'll find some food this time. Mm. I will come to you. If I get ambushed and murdered, I still have some sort of way to defend myself. Um... Nope, still found no food. <laughs> the Rexus does find enough for a day. Bring back like a pile of like a badger or something. Oh, I find food from not from myself. I know it doesn't uh, hurt. Just she, she finds like fruit. I hope. Inovox finds enough food for half a day. That puts you at food for a day. Uh, two two days. days and minus one. Cause two we days. Oh. We're then at day six. No. If you decide to just spend the entire day only hunting and then going back, basically, then yes. And can we hunt more? Uh, you could spend another half day hunting. Alright. Because then we could also get something for the kobolds and they would be super happy. Fine. <laughs> you it's find enough hunter. for the kobolds to eat for a day as well. What, what an another day? That would be two days. <laughs> I, our Volnix stopped doing this. Alright, Volnix, I would like to know how you hunt. That's a natural one, by the way. I would like to know how Avonix hunts. Does he hunt with the others? Does he hunt alone? I mean, in honesty, due to, due to the fact he's finding nothing, I'm guessing he's, prob he's probably not with the others because the others are finding stuff. You're not with the others, you say, as so you go around looking for things. And finding absolutely nothing of what. Well, that that's that's not entirely true. I'm going to move you to a different map. If it's a natural one, it's only bad. You'll be fine. So our Vulnix never came yeah. back, huh? Hmm. Well, it, that's more food, technically. It's, it's an opportunity. Because you do find something. You find a nice feed piece of dead deer that something or another has already killed. There's still scraps left. Enough to give you maybe half a day food for yourself. But it's certainly your decision if you want to take that offer. Uh, also, the others can't actually see, can they? Nope. Oh, can't see I, I'm, just, I'm just going to steal your tokens then and, and <gasps> just let you see. Like so. That should do. I can only see so much. What's over there? Oh. Just pretend you're not here. This is just for vision, basically. Well, what's around? Because some, if something has killed a deer, it might still be nearby. You could roll a perception check. You don't really see anything. Any tracks? Uh, that would be survival. Because all of those have gone so well so far. Yep, two. I mean, there was definitely something here that must have killed the deer, and looking at the remains of the deer, it might have already left, really. There's still enough to make a good meal, though. Easy meal, too. You can just decide to leave. I think I won't honestly would just nope. Alright, you leave. You will never find out the secret of the dead deer. Everyone is just with some huge animal or something. And so you come back from your day of of surviving a lot. And uh, now with another two days worth of food for the kobolds. It would that then be day six. Could have given the kobolds a deer. Oh. 
Day six, then. All right, I suppose we'll to go. Before we do that, I'll just give everyone a heal. Inovox. Tyraxus. Uh, Volnix. And myself. Anyone still missing? No, I'm fine. I am. As he will lend his power to the others, healing all of their wounds and tiredness. With his amazing dragon powers. You know, as a thanks, you get the extra juicy badger today. Mm. Extra juicy badger. That is just lovely. You'll very much want to hear the story of how you caught that. It will be a very bragging story. <laughs> he will nod and seem impressed at every word. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Tilrax is puffing out his little chest and, um, and uh, flapping his wings excitedly. Opening his maw wide to show you how he, you know, chopped down and stuff. Yeah. And yeah, I guess the plan then is to go to the secret meeting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sure, at what time do you decide to leave? Before the sun? comes up or like get dawn or when do you I mean we don't leave? want to get spotted by the humans so maybe before the earlier the, the earlier the better we don't really know if we're gonna run into I thought we'd the way. go like tonight could go in the evening I suppose mm. like you could hunt today and then go tonight yeah. you mean relax and sleep night? today and then go tonight what do you, do you want us to march through the night yeah okay to walk at night and then we'll arrive and like have a rest at that hill for like the day and then the meeting was at night, right? I don't know when the meeting was. The seventh day, night, sheep? Uh, he said in a week. So no time really, just be there on this day. You know, letting them wait is a good thing. Humans love waiting. Especially for our kind. Mm. Just long enough for them to begin to think we may not show up. Sure, sure. I can hunt again. So we hunt for basically half a day and then we travel in the evening. That is certainly a success for another day's worth of food for all of you. Oh my god, that's actual success! Oh yeah, my god, that so, is so much success. food! Horrible food! Take it all! You know, with the recent rains, a lot of the like rodents living in holes have decided to to come out and play in the now now sunny day, and you basically just pick them up from pick them pick them up from the from the ground. Take what this. time of year is it? Spring? Uh, you uh, trying to determine that would probably be a check of some kind. I said na nature. Nature, <laughs> nature survival would work. maybe. I don't know. I have nature in intelligence check. But like so, but I can't do an un like untrained knowledge nature. So would nobody know what season it is if I, if well, I, I bought an eighteen. Uh, Inabox would think that it is probably late autumn. Hmm. I mean, I mean, winter soon. We would drop it. Kind of, we would everyone, everyone looks at their volnix. We can look at the leaves, right? And be like, they are like red. <laughs> what does that mean? Hmm. Oh. I mean, the from, like, it can't mountains. be that difficult because I think most peasants can tell what time of year it yeah, is. It's like a five or something. Well, the thing is, they're not drugged for half a year, though. Well, Maybe not. You don't know that. Have you seen? I guess. I guess <laughs> Tomaxus might not have seen trees. Gr Grump turnips was high as a kite all the time. Um. Yes, Tomaxus is. Uh, I mean, he, he, the only thing he remembers are the vast deserts and then just being in a cage for, for years. He has never been outside, really. He's afraid of these well, weird he, growths. He's been in the gardens and stuff. Hill and snow being walked, as it were. Um, 
you probably should never mention that to him ever. <laughs> well, he probably hasn't. No, so. no. But we know. It's like I remember that one time I was walked. I mean, don't you ever say he that. He used to. He used to, to paint my nails and give me a little shirt and bow tie. <laughs> and they called me Clemens. Did I say anyway. that? If you tell, him, tell everyone of that, I will kill you all. Yes, we should travel. Do you think we have enough? Do you think we have enough food for the travel, considering our survival checks? Yes. Yes, you can carry all that you that how you much, need for the trip. How much food is that? Uh, with those checks, that's it's fifteen for one person, and then uh, it's, for it's, each two over the seats, one more person, I believe. Yes, the way I'm doing it is basically fifteen gives all of you half a day worth of food, twenty and above gives you a, a day worth of food, just to simplify it. Oh, so, so with 10 to 5 doesn't really matter. You just need to hit 20. 20, plus. yes. Okay. So you have three days of food. Plus one. You do. Okay. Just you know, you've run a mammoth over a hill. <laughs> Alright, towards the hill. Uh, <laughs> so on the dawn, basically, of day six. It's just black out there. You decide to travel south. Just ah, black out there? I can't, I can't, I can't I can't move out. I can't it's see just, how to, no. Your blackness. Yeah, we won't be using this map. We will we'll be using the overview map. Oh, the, 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 door, the, the world has ended, Rakayaks. Don't look at that. Unless, of course, you want... We'll better have that tunnel finished than we did when we come back. That's right. Yeah, we gave them a lot of food that it should be back. Uh, be there when we come we, back. Uh, we, uh, when we gave them the food, by the way, Shippy, of course, presented it as a way of we being generous gods. Oh, you know? definitely. You know, you could have just thrown it near the entrance and they would have still revered you as gods at, the, at that point. Like yeah, sneaking, sneaking out, of your, out of your little cave there is no problem with the darkness. You can see the, the dwarves and humans still laboring away, doing whatever it is humans and dwarves tend to do with stone and the forest. Although what they're doing to the forest is definitely not tending it, but rather cutting most of it down. Good. That's fine. As... You travel south, then. Uh, I will move you to the overview map. There we go. Where's my you are here marker? That is. You are basically here. And as the dear guard that freed you has put it, the hill was supposed to be some miles north of the tower, so considering you, you've just you just went basically straight north to get here. You think that it should be a pretty straight shot down. And as you reach about here, you spot light in the distance. Light that is definitely quite visible, a campsite of sort. And I would like to roll you uh, I would like you to roll me perception checks. Can I put my token somewhere? Ow. That is a good point. <laughs> Go back to the cave. No. I mean, I have my token on my clipboard. I just don't know. Tokens, so I will like just. Bears and chicken I will just copy tokens. your token. No. Uh, let me just copy your tokens for you. Twenty-seven. That is like a what? Are a natural twenty. There we go. There, there's some tokens for you. I see fucking everything. Look at me. Look at me. What are you talking about? I don't see anything. No, uh, there's nothing. It's just your imagination. The shadow. Another natural one. So that's so that's two natural ones and a two. I mean, all of you can definitely see that there's a group of people in the distance not bothering to with any kind of stealth, really, having a campsite with torches and a, and a fire in the middle. Terexus does them. see that it is three people, each with horses and tents set up, and they seem to be chatting rather loudly to each other, so loud that Terexus can even make out some of the words. Mm -hmm. they, uh, uh, there's three people, and one is saying to the others that clearly they need to be captured alive because it gives more money. There's other scraps of conversation, but most of it really does, does uh, says nothing else than that. Does Tilraxus recognize them as people being around in the wizard's tower? Uh, not from this distance, no. Okay. He will, uh, he will whisper to the others, From what I can gather, these humans are discussing that it is important to capture alive because it gives more money. He looks at the so, others. So, food, then. 
Perhaps Is yes. Human meat. He nods. They might be talking about something else, but he looks over to them. He was told that we would not be in doubt when we saw the person we were supposed to meet. I can't imagine they would make this mistake. I see no banners with dragons on them or something else inconspicuous like that. So Rex just looks over to them, squints and then nods and says, Agreed. I see very little, in fact. Anything from this distance, we might need to go closer. Prepare for battle, then, because these humans might indeed want to capture us. <laughs> As he starts creeping closer in the underbrush. Alrighty. I would like stealth checks, then. I'm going to assume you are, you start sneaking a rather large distance away. Mm -hmm. then oh. Try to make your way closer. Oh, I can't do stealth I, I Yeah, I'm, I'm all over the place. I'm going to put your tokens on the proper map this time. You didn't get my token. I think that's because you were rolling at the time. Yeah. There you go. I, I'm all over the place. I'm sorry. Just assume that I rolled a 20, then. You can roll now, if you want to. Where? Poker Washi. Poker Washi. I just revealed. What? I don't even know where it is. I'm still looking at my own token. There's only one token in this map. There shouldn't be. Can you force us Let to do the location, this. maybe? <laughs> Try. Does it work now? It is what? the overview map, right? Mm, oh, the map is not visible to players. There we go. God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There, there, are two, there are two Arbonuses on this map. Mm. One with giant rats and one without giant rats. Mm. Oh, you got my token here. Cool. That's what else you say? Oh my god, he's just pulling us down. That's yeah. always the problem with stealth. Oh, they're just pulling us down. I beat the guy X. Let's not talk about the two. We need to fight them anyway. My trend of bad controls are continued, that's another one. You know, I was just lucky with my roll though. So I've had three natural ones and a natural two so far. Let me let me give you a bush here. This is going well. I rolled an eighteen. No, a fourteen. Yeah, you creep closer, but you're pretty sure that you can't get too close with Rachex making probably more noise than you would like. But you can get close enough to get a reasonable look. I just don't really know how. Let me set up the map that I obviously didn't do before this because I'm underprepared apparently. There we go. In oh, the distance, is... you see a clear sign of a campsite with three rather decently armed and armored people sitting there. The, the northern person talking to the other in insistent tones. Something about money or another, while the others are just kind of nodding, disagreeing, obviously, but just nodding. There is a. They are sitting around a campfire with torches scattered around, and you are quite a distance away. Can't really make out what exactly they are talking about. Terribly clear area. Hmm. Well, I mean, they'll go to bed sometime, right? It appears to only be three tents and three people. If we wait here long enough, they should go to sleep. Perhaps, yes. Looks over through them. Hmm. Hmm. Do they have any markings or anything on them? Like a flag or like heraldry? Uh, they have a mixed set of different things uh, on each of them. Nothing that would mark them as as someone from so and so. From this distance, you would be able to see that the female human here and the human to the south have clear symbols of some faith or another. But no markings that would mark them of, of like a noble house or anything. What faith? Uh, can't really make out the details from this distance. 
Oh well. I suppose we wait until they sleep in the new Taraxas. You are stealthy, you are good at being quiet. What kind of day is it? And snap their necks. Taraxas looks down the looks down the, the open field and, and like you see him scowl. There isn't too much uh, uh, cover. Sneaking is a lot of uh, you know, taking cover. And approach they all, don't look. If, if one of them, if all but one is sleeping, you can go behind here. Tense. Taraxas looks down. I could try, I suppose. We'll be right here if you need us. Uh, no doubt. fast as well. Also, it is currently beginning to dawn. As you They haven't slept at all. Or oh. they have just woken up. It's the worst time to do anything. Should we just approach then? Could. If they have ill intent, then we will kill them. If they are, in fact, the people we are here to talk to, we will be on our guard. If they run away, to Rex or Shrugs. And tell the wizard, well, maybe uh, maybe Pile uh, will know that we are still alive, but we are so close to his tower at this point that it wouldn't help him much, I think. As you say that, I'm sure you have it all figured out. <laughs> to Rexos. Scowls. That might be overstating it a bit. But with your smooth uh, smooth talking, I'm sure we can figure something out. If nothing else, you can distract them when we kill them. <laughs> and then... So the two others... Pokes his head out a little bit. I mean, this is the hill, right, Chip? There's neither tree nor hill. This is on the way there. Oh, it's just a camp. It it is close, however. You can kind of see it in the distance, but it is not directly on there. These are mm. definitely not the people we're supposed to meet. Then we should probably just avoid them. But think about what they might bring with them. Hmm. Yes. Well, they're probably they travelers on the road. They might have money. They're probably adventurers that have been have sent to find horses. us. But if they are adherents to some faith of some sort, they might have strange magics. No. <laughs> I mean, I would prefer then if we actually just wait until I fell asleep, but... It's morning, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Looks at the sun. Squints myth. Do we know what time of day it is? Uh, you've left a couple hours ago. So it's likely, well, getting to dawn. Dawning already, in fact. If you want to sneak up on them now, you go first. We'll attack what you have. Surprise them. Well, what, what do you guys think? Should we sneak up and try to attack? I think so. I don't suppose I could get like a shield of faith or something for sneak. <laughs> so, because no. I will be alone uh, out there quite a bit. I bet there are adventurers that I mean, at that point, we don't really need to. We don't really need to sneak up if we are all going. Well, we can try, but it's probably not going to work. And if they're not the adventurers that are pretty hard to get us, then they'll probably say so. Yeah. Let's assume hostility until anything else has been proven. Indeed. Yep. So you want me to just blow whatever I have? I mean, I can I can sneak up or try to. Uh, chances are they're probably going to spot me because I don't have too many places to hide here. If they spot me, I'm going to be out there alone for a few rounds, maybe. I mean, I say we all go up there. What I mean, what are you going to surprise them with? Lightning breath. And do like 
five damage, so yeah. Hey! I guess that could work. <laughs> my, my lightning breath is not that bad. No, no, but but I'm just saying, like, is it is it worth it, or is it better to get all of us closer? I mean, can we get all of us closer, though? I don't know. Maybe. Unless we could set fire to their tents. Sure. If I only could get close enough to spark it. Mm hmm Oh, we can't. It's either that or we avoid them. Don't you have the invisibility clo potion? You should still have one, that's true. I guess we do. That's a good point. You should also have a potion of alter self, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we need to have that for selling at some point. But but yeah, we do have a portion of uh, two portions of invisibility actually. Could you but want to? The alt herself only lasted for a couple of minutes, if I remember correctly. Both invisibility and alt herself will last for three minutes. So we can't really you can't sell anything in three minutes. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to take human form. I mean, as soon as I can. So. And we hopefully, two of us could be invis invisible as we crawl up there. That would allow us to be pretty damn stealthy, I think. Mm. I mean, if I can get south of them, I can hit four things with my lightning breath. Two horses and, and Sophanon and Phenom. What about uh, my cone breath? Get all of them. Stand here and then... Mm -hmm. You cone, I lightning. And just fucking crisscross so you two them get, and You two get the, uh, get the potions and then you go down there? We could. But we only and have then one. Then and me charge from here. We only have one invisibility potion. We have two. We have two? Yes. Okay. One alter self and two invisibility. Oh, let's do it. Okay, one do it. Right, but uh -huh. I'll, I'll just give you. Do you want shields of faith? Do you think it'll uh, be useful enough for spending. I don't. I think, I think the element of surprise would work in our favor quite a bit. Mm -hmm. okay. I hope. Then I won't give you anything. And if we die horribly, so well... Afterwards. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> sure, okay. take the invisibility potions then. Alright. <laughs> glug, glug, glug. Mm-hmm. Like 600 gold pieces. Let's see, Finish. I want to go... Let me measure out where I want to go here so I can actually hit the more I want to hit. I want to go... Basically, I can am going <laughs> Right here. next to him. Basically, I'm creeping up here, yes. And then can I can roll me a stealth check with the appropriate bonus, appropriate bonus from Im invisibility then. Sure. Invisibility 20 of your moving. So 40 for standing plane still invisible. Oh crap, wait, wait, that was 30, I think. Yes, I hit 30. Well, it was a natural 20 10, anyway, it was so. A natural 20. <laughs> That's 49 stealth. 49 stealth to get up there. You can certainly creep up all the way, basically next to the, the, the northern human, and you even get some more scraps of conversation of that northern person going, I'm telling you, 2,000 each, think about it. So the, the human to the south then says, uh, are you attacking right now, or are you just... No, I'm just... This is the line. <laughs> this is what you plan okay. to do. This is the plan. So the, the human on the south just well, answers... But I should they, probably stand here, then. They are a scourge on the land. We can't just sell them to someone. I mean, quarter of the price is still good. And if we're quick, we might even be the first ones to actually find them. Like, well, this, is, this is a conversation that is so vague... That it seems like it's definitely talking about us, but it could be talking about something completely different. And we you might know, screw them. Screw them, yeah. Alright, we open up. <laughs> Alright, you open fire. Roar! Roar! Let me. We get a surprise second. round, yeah? Roar! <laughs> <laughs> you certainly do get a surprise round, yeah. Yay! Uh, with. Oh god, she has night, night dexterity modifier. Uh, I mean, Rachek sees Terex is basically opening up. You get to act first. It is a surprise round, meaning standard action. I guess we'll move here. Alright. Avonix. Then it is Inavox. Breath. Six damage. That is 
certainly a good do film. something about it. Uh, well, the human to the north fails, and he takes six damage. The others take three points of damage as okay. they jump up, trying to kind of dodge the poison coming their way, looking rather well surprised it's, it's to say the acid. least. Acid, please. Acid. All right. And then from the sidelines <laughs> comes the lightning. Great damage. Uh, let's see. Saves. They oh. all make it. They all take four points of damage. That was that was a shame. Uh, surprise round. Oh. Meaning, this fellow here, he jumps up, looking at the suddenly appearing well, worming in front but of him. Was he prone first? And uh, not prone enough to actually consider him prone. He was kind of crouching. They they all were. They were ready. As he well. Doesn't really say much, but turn around and try to defend himself by stabbing you. And he attacks with a short sword and tries to smack you. And fumbles terribly as he is still trying to process what just happened. Ooh, masterwork. And it's your attacks. Ooh. Run! Get up here! <laughs> I can indeed run, but that would take me to like 120. They they seem to have good to hit. This is probably gonna hurt. So I'm gonna be like here somewhere. Yeah. I can like go to like there. All right. The horse. Hopefully spooked. Uh, it's it's very spooked. Lightning is frightening. Oops. Uh, it is. Avolnix. Run, Avolnix. I need yeah, your help. <laughs> it's like full pelt coming down. Wings stretched. Mm -hmm. Alright. You just look big. Mm -hmm. This guy here. He, he looks at the other just appearing dragon and says, There they are, Scourge. You will not grow up to be a danger to the people <laughs> living here. You are not making it sound too uh, too sure of yourself there, priest. Perhaps you should just run away. I will show you my dedication. See, so walks up. I didn't say it. Well, he he doesn't really care who says it. I was trying to walks taunt up. Him. <laughs> uh, he will also smite and Couple. attack. Oh! But luckily, you can't be smitten because you're neutral. That is true. The that smite fails. True. Um, Haha! He has tried not to. He's confused, perhaps. He's like, what? God is not with him in slaying this being. He is wielding a rapier in one hand and a dagger in the other. What? This horse spooks. Dude, Mas might. Masterwork weapons, though. Kayaks. Think of the money. Uh huh. Uh, I'm oh, gonna. The money. Full attack. The priest. I mean, you just make the paladin. Uh, those are all misses. Even the 17? Yes. Oh, that's tough. That's a toughie. Bless. Do we have bless? No, we don't have bless. I don't have bless, no. The horse spooked. I'm, I'm not sure why I added them to initiative in the first place. The Rexus. Well, uh, let's try to uh, kill this guy. Bite and claw. Full attack. Go! Uh, that's a hit for 5 damage. He curses. Um, I am... Um, let's see here... Is that going to be it? Or do you want to move still? I'm thinking... I'm probably fine here. Probably fine here. This woman over here looks as shocked as the others. Shocked? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> she'll move over here and cast a spell on the, on the roguish type here. Mm. I will apply that in just a moment. Actually, I have to apply that now because it actually is important. You can roll spellcraft to identify the check if you want to. It's haste, isn't it? It's haste. If we, if it's haste, then we're kind of then we're in our hands here. But I don't know what it is. You don't know. I'm not sure if that showed up in chat. 
No. I know what I know what it is, but that's because I just know what the symbol is. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I know what that symbol. He he frowns at Rexus and then withdraws. Oh. Huh? To over here. Okay. Oh, he's ranged. No, he's going to try flanking you. I think. Who? Okay. Rexus will cast a uh, divine favor upon himself. Preparing for battle, and then he'll move. I've only helped me take out this cleric. Over here. Charge! That's right. Yeah, the woman looks rather disappointed in her companion for leaving her, her here. What kind of insignias do they have now? Uh, as you're close, that would be knowledge religion. It is not something that you recognize <laughs> immediately. <laughs> A bad role. No, the, the cleric, you have no idea, but the but the other human over here that is also wearing symbols of the faith, you're pretty sure that's that's Yomi Day. No, he's a crusader. Okay, I'm having really I didn't awkward. do anything. I might need to close my map talk because I'm having really awkward times trying to scroll around. You should make things difficult. You but, should taunt him, Manika, as we try to smite you because it won't work <laughs> against you either. How many users do you think he has? I don't know. There's more than one, we're seriously screwed anyway. That is a hit. Nice. I need to restart that tool, so nice. you can have that hit. Yes, the cleric is rather good, as far as we know. <laughs> hmm. Could be. Hmm. I mean, how much yeah, do you know about that? Well, he is seriously disappointed that this beast is, in fact, not evil. A revelation that is truly shocking. Think he'll about move, it. He'll move here and do a full attack using no, both no. a short sword and his dagger against you. You, you. No, you should think about it. Oh. Those are two hits for 17 points of damage. Goodbye, ow. goodbye, Anabox. Ow, ow, I'm not ow. dead. Sweet sleep. <laughs> Shut Anabox. up. Uh, 17 damage. There. I'm not feeling good. No, that was nine damage with a dagger. Holy crap! The guy must have like a plus five strength mod. Well, uh, yeah. Inavox is gonna now that he, you know, cut her. She's gonna put her uh, poisoned blood on her claws and uh, attack him. Dig in. Be pretty good if we could knock. knock uh, the claws ahead. Also, apologies for the damage. I attacked with the wrong guy. Uh, would you rather have me reroll or just subtract the erroneous damage? Because that would be four less damage against you. I would like four less damage. All right, take four less damage. Sweet. And here's the toxic blood. Mm, that's on your claws, then. That's a fortitude save. All right. Make him fail. Make him fail. He yes. fails. He takes one point of con damage. Yes. Excellent. Tell Rexus. Well, having uh, spitting out some of the blood, he steps closer to Samantha here and is going to try to take her out. Full attack. Uh, yeah, those all hits. All right. Nine, thirteen damage as he she, rips. She into is her. still standing, but barely. Oh, I set her up, Avronix. She will. Five foot step here and cast a spell on herself. Kill our wounds. Heal. See. It's like, hmm. God damn it. You Tooth. have <laughs> no clue what her inclinations actually meant. I don't know. This guy, I well, know. he sees his opportunity here. Oh, this I'm so dead. Moves here and I might will, miss. will stab Inovox with mm. a short sword. Mm. That is a, a hit. That is also oh, some sneak damage. attack on there for 13 points of damage. Oof. How much? 13. Oh. Attacks. So I need to see how. Yeah, mm -hmm. I might heal her. Mm -hmm. I would appreciate it. Instead of fighting, he's going to go here and heal her for 8. Pretty good. That's pretty good for a d8 plus two. We should probably get out of that flank, though. Yeah, I, I'm definitely... Welcome to the flank chain! <laughs> I'll kill the girl, right? Yes, take her out. Yes. Uh, basically, sheep. Yeah. 
Uh, firstly, and for elemental aura. Mm. Secondly, if, um, attacks are going to go through. If you know, if it kills her, I move on to the other guy, targeting the priest lady first. All right. Nice. As you try to attack the priest lady, roll me a will save. Sanctuary. Those are so such good hits, though. You oh, cannot yes, attack her. In so that case, I guess, to... a, I guess the two claws go to the other guy. Yes, the the bite is lost, but the claws can be redirected to Mister Dude over here for That's ten plus, points plus, of damage. Plus Nineteen nine points of damage. All right. Yeah, he doesn't like that at all. I assume a nine doesn't confirm against him because they didn't no. add flank. <laughs> Uh, he will spend a swift action to heal himself. At least he can't yeah, swift action smite. Let's see, how much does he have? Uh, can't smite, that's true. He heals himself for six. Mm. Jonas, she five is up here, and the new five is up here, we have a ladder. He will then see that, that her, his, his friend is in danger. Five is up here, and full attack Evil Nyx. Does she have a melee weapon drawn? She does. Didn't he just uh, use uh, swift uh, action. action to it's swift, swift action. action? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, well, that's two damage. Ow! That was a scale. Yeah. Inavox. Five foot. by the guy down there, right? Mm, you should. You should probably. He's the not... murderer. He's crazy murderer guy. You sure? Yeah. Mm. Rip him apart. Probably even step like down here, so you can't get flanked by the paladin. Ha ha! <laughs> uh, uh, still gonna use her blood to put on her claws. It remains there, I think. I think so, but I I'm not sure yeah, if I need to. equal to your constitution that. modifier or something. Like that. Yeah. Yep. Uh, that is a hit for six points of damage. And do the. Fortitude toxic. save. Yes. Thank you. Actually, Pelly forgot to save as well. Oh yeah, he did. Uh, I'll do that now. Uh, let's see. Safe fortitude. Yep, he makes it. Makes it. This guy, however, failed, so he'll take one point of con damage as well. Sweet. Torexus. Well, seeing that uh, some magical wards or something is flickering around Samantha, he will. He will. Oops. oops he will move here. Uh, five step here, and he will full attack her. Uh, if uh, he can't get through, he will redirect to Sophonon. Okay. So that is... Well, the first oh. one is a miss. Yep. But two claws, and I'm going to make a will save. Yeah. You, you succeed on that will save. You don't care that, that she thinks that you can't attack her, but because you do, and she does go down with the first claw. That's right. Second claw tears into uh, Sophanon. And that is also it for six point of damage. He, uh, who was shouting now, cursing you as well as you have downed his companion. <laughs> he, uh, he looks at him and says, Your companion lies bleeding on the ground. Surrender, and she will be spared. Otherwise, we shall rip her throat out and feast upon her. This is your only chance to save your friend, Paladin. What he said. <laughs> Roll a diplomacy check, Jonas. Great. That is pretty damn good for me. <laughs> uh, I mean, Thank he you. considers your words for just a moment, but then gets another look of determination and says, I know your kind beast. You will not do as you suggest. You are not honorable. I am hurt. I am completely honorable. Shut up, other beast. This guy over here, well... He's racial slurs. Hmm. Can't really do too much here. You will five foot step here and attack Anavox. Thank you. It's not flanking. And do terribly. Mm. Two shocks by seeing. seeing and uh, remember, uh, safe. Yes, the safe. Thank you. He fails. Fail. He takes another point of con damage. <laughs> oh, gotta do what I do best. Four hit points. That's not how I do it best, but. No. I know. If he had stayed there, I would have got a tag of opportunity for that. So. 
Yeah, that's true. Okay, Avonix. Is this guy so hard to hit? Slide to here and just rip into him. You should Imperial die, hopefully, maybe. In theory, hopefully. Uh, that is certainly it, and he does go down. Get that guy. The look of determination following him into unconsciousness. I know, Ox. Well, she's just gonna. Should we? We'll attack him. Should we keep him alive to try to question him? But no, just kill him. He does. He's gonna try to run away or something. I mean, if we knock him out. Uh, that's a hit for three points of damage. And he saves the poison, right? Yeah. It's if he fails the DC to succeed, is it higher? He fails. Now DC I sixteen DC poison. Raises yeah. by two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. DC sixteen now. The effect doesn't trigger immediately again, does it? No, it just applies yeah. the DC higher. Terexus. Well, he uh, he stalks up. He'll die of combleed. Looks at this guy. You look smarter than the others. Tell us who is your employer, and you might live. He considers and says, We are freelancers, and after what you've done to my companions, I will tell you nothing more. They could be allowed to live, and we won't eat them. Don't you think they would like that in the future? We could just all get along, and we could leave you here, and you could stop following us. You don't need this money. You can find better work. Work that won't cost you your friends' lives. Draw me a diplomacy check. He considers for a moment, and does seem like the suggestion is very tempting. Mm -hmm. Alexis, what do you do? I should, I should just kill him. I mean, it, it hasn't been his turn yet, but he does prepare. look like he's so considering. If he moves away, you bite him. All right, I uh, I prepare. Uh, prepare a uh, prepare a bite on uh, on him moving away or trying to attack one of us. All right, he does throw it, throw down both of his weapons. So they stick in the ground. Combat would be over if you wanted to be. Yeah, sure. All right. Some here. Circle, circle so, what keep your word. Be Keep your word then, beast, and let me tend to my companions first. I think not. That That's was not part of the yes, deal. that should be... <coughs> to to glares over to believe. <laughs> Not first. We never said anything about nothing first. Else. I can tend to them if nothing else. Who, Who seems to be the most close to dying? Uh, let me check here. The woman does. He'll try to do a heal check. All right. <laughs> nope. Right, well, he begins to do it anyway. All right. You you look like you are helping her. And so, tell us about your employer. There was no employer. There's simply a note in town giving a reward for capturing, well, I assume you. Hmm. 2,000 alive, a quarter of that if brought dead. It was posted just yesterday. Too much was nonsense. I see. He uh, basically calls over in Draconic to the others. Should we really let these creatures live? This Draconic? This, I believe so. They might not hurt us again. And if they do, they know they will lose. We can take their things still. And leave them with their lives. Honorable sorts, I'm sure that they will appreciate this. Teresa's looks him up and down and says, Very well then, human. What is your name? Why does it matter? It's Fennin. Nods. Well then, Fennin, know that today you and your friends are alive by our graces. Try to come after us again, and you will pay dearly for it. Your Excellency, we give you your lives. You will give us your things as a surrendering for attacking us in this manner. We are small still, and 
seeking just some way in which we can humbly move along with our lives without hurting anyone. As it turns out, hunters like you make that very hard. Surrender your equipment, and I will let you tend to your friends. Yes, you've quite deftly displayed that you just want to survive by ambushing us here. We heard you talking of hunting us. Yes, because that's what we are paid to do. So without heed to anything, you just rush headlong after the first money you find. <laughs> uh, how predictable. But if there is a you price. Are paid a... to murder. The director snorts. It doesn't matter. What matters is that there is a price for your failure, human, and the price is your belongings. You are alive because we are in an incredibly generous mood. All right, if you keep arguing any longer, then my companions won't be as alive as you're suggesting anymore. Avalnix, take take the things they have here. All right, you loot the bodies. Okay. Yep. Grab that and, stuff. And, and that guy. And then afterwards, I suppose, we'll let him go to them. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll, take, things. we'll take all the money, all the r their belongings, potions, armor, everything. All right. I don't think we can run around with their armor, to be honest. Yeah, carrying the things, I mean, not impossible. They certainly have bags with appropriately sized bags, definitely, if you want to carry those around. But it's just something to keep in mind. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure the strong dragons can carry a lot of things. The loot, if any of you care to write it actually I down. I'm, I'm writing stuff down. You can click on them and find out the loot. The female human, yeah, you can click on them on the objects. Oh. Which right, I didn't well, consider, so spoilers. You, but put yeah. the normal, you put them in the normal notes, not the GM notes. I, I know. Yeah, you, you can just check the loot, but I'll, I'll list it for, for like the people in chat anyways. The female has a plus one studded leather armor, a masterwork quarterstaff, an idol of a god that you can't recognize, even though it is the notes, and mm. 20 gold pieces. The paladin has a plus one chain shirt, a dagger, a masterwork rapier, and 53 gold pieces. And the rogue down here gives you his plus one studded lever, his masterwork short sword, three daggers, and 13 gold pieces. Excellent. Make the hold look nicer. Mm, yes, magical, magical arms and armor, always nice. How many gold pieces did you have? Uh, 13. No potions or anything like that? No rations? Uh, they do have potions. I'm sorry. The uh, roguish type has a potion of cure light wounds. And so does the cleric. It's in addition to the scroll? Uh, yes, I do believe so. Yes. Alright. I'll take it. I mean, whatever they have, really. Alright, then. We'll let him tend to his friends. He will do so immediately. Doesn't seem very capable of doing it, but he's certainly trying his best as he glares at you. Okay, actually, uh, we'll apologize for this behavior and say that among better times were we not hunted by people such as himself, perhaps we could have been friends. Yes, I see. Do you always ambush your friends like this? Those who uh, plot to murder me on sight, yes. Or at least bring me back to someone who, which you might not know, but we were taken from a dungeon where we were tortured for the recipes our blood carries, drained, beaten, and harvested for was, organs until we fled. It was nothing personal. This was just a job and you made it personal. Because it's a job to murder us. To or bring us well. back to someone who would. Perhaps that is something to consider for your holy man over there, pointing with his tail towards the paladin. If he fancies himself a man of righteousness, he might m take and think more carefully upon the contracts he accepts. As you might have noticed, his godly powers failed to, um, well, do much against us. Perhaps it wasn't on kind. his... Perhaps it wasn't on his side in this matter. And that should be uh, food for thought, yes. Teresa smiles. He frowns yes. at you grimly, but doesn't Nods answer. his head. 
If we meet again, I hope it is at a, a more opportune instance. The Rexus nods. You owe us your lives, after all. Smiles apologetically. Now we have to go. You are not the only ones who have come to hunt us. We must find a safe place. Tend to them. I would hate to see any of them have permanent scars. So just frowns at you while he bandages his friends. <laughs> if he just takes tens, then after we leave, maybe he won't be as pressured. Oh, Tyraxus just has a huge grin on his face as we walk away from here. Mm. Just we out of hearing distance, okay, I can say. I believe this is much better than killing them. We don't need the food after all. And, well... Warn they won't the be avenged. Indeed, and they will warn off the others. Perhaps what we told him, he didn't believe all of it, but... If we can uh, discredit the bounty notice on our hides, then perhaps fewer creatures will actually hunt us. Especially if the ones Maybe that set out... Maybe they will turn around and try to find the person who harvests baby dragons. Nods. Perhaps that paladin seemed like a righteous sort. They are so easy to mm, manipulate. Just pointing towards evil and off they storm. Besides, we told him, and we should keep our promises somewhat. People cannot trust us, then what war power will our word carry? This Just is the first part of her reputation. Teresa's nods. Agreed. We nod to each other as we move along. Yep. Mm -hmm. yes, big yes. heads and everything. <laughs> yes, big. And, and like, everyone looks just walking last with like a huge sack of things dragging on the ground behind him. <laughs> Leaving an enormous trail. The last thing they see is like four tails and a huge sack disappearing into the grass. <laughs> no, they, they will remember your words. What's that sound in the background? That's a cicada, cicada. I believe. Oh, That's it's a cicada. It's, oh, man. It's because it's, it's because it's, you know, it's like, it's fitting because it's, we're walking through the morning because it's, mist. It's fitting because it's autumn. What? You have, you have them where you live? Wow. Hey, I thought they were way Minavox. more south. Yes. What? Mm -hmm. Like that. Thanks. Like that. He's yeah. like, I'm sorry I could not tend to you in time. 